for a long time now I've been wanting a picture shelf to display my scrapbook pages. And um, I went to the hardware store looking for some crown molding so we could construct one. Crown molding typically has just this face part to the, um, the wood and then we were going to have to put the sides on it and come up with something for the top. But I found this uh, piece of molding at Lowe's that had the crown molding look but it had the full 90 degree angle. And so originally I was going to uh, mount this on the wall and have my husband cut a groove in this smooth uh, top uh, shelf part for um, propping up the pages. However, I realized that if I took the molding and just flipped it up this way, that I would have a groove already built in as part of the design of the molding. So that's what we did. Um, we could have cut uh, the corner, uh, mitered it, and put a picture frame kind of edge. Given where it was going to be located in my home, I didn't really feel like that was necessary, so we just left the edge squared. Um, this comes primed, so I painted it, and then to attach it to the wall, we uh, used screws. I drilled a hole and um, uh, pre-drilled all my holes based on where my studs were, and then drilled a little bit larger hole so I could countersink and putty those holes. But then the shelf just went up like this, and my, my uh, scrapbook pages lay in this groove. This comes 8 foot long. It was about $15. And um, let's take a look at how it came out. Here's the finished shelf. Mine's rather long at a little bit over 6 feet because I had a large space to put it on. And you can see we just squared off the ends and that the scrapbook pages rest in that little groove. I do use a piece of cardboard behind the pages so that they don't flop back against the wall. Or actually, I guess that's um, chipboard. I also have this positioned on a wall that is the same wall that has the window on it. That way the light doesn't hit directly on my pages. Um, sunlight is really, really hard on paper. So if you're putting up something like this and you want to display your pages even for a few days, if you have untreated windows that don't have any UV protection in them, you really, really need to keep your paper out of the light. Um, and even when you do have UV protection, you'll want to reduce the amount of light that's, that's coming in on your paper because it will fade it in a hurry. Thank you for watching today. Be sure and visit my blog.